Hi guys. Today I wanted to touch on the issue of self-diagnosing. I see a lot of people in YouTube videos, in the comments section, um, just in general in my day-to-day -day self-diagnosing themselves with really severe mental disorders. And I wanted to touch on that because if we had a chronic disease or a chronic illness, we probably wouldn't self-diagnose ourselves with something like diabetes or cancer because we had some symptoms that match those illnesses. And I feel like it should be the same with mental health. We shouldn't take it to be a subjective field of diagnosis. And I think that it's really important that we don't label having mental health symptoms, which everyone deals with, whether it be some anxiety from time to time, issues with depression, normal reactions to life circumstances, then being labeled as a really severe mental disorder. So I really want to shy away from this label of disorder because Mental disorder should be diagnosed by a psychiatrist, psychologist, someone who is licensed and able to diagnose them, like you would have someone diagnose cancer who is a doctor. To be diagnosed with an anxiety disorder, with major depression disorder, with bipolar, with any of these things, your symptoms should be ongoing. They should be something that you've been dealing with for a long time or that have come on suddenly and are very extreme to the point where, where it's a hazard to yourself and you need to see a specialist. I just wanted to really quickly touch on that today because like I say, I don't think that it's healthy that we live in a society where we're constantly labeling ourselves with severe mental disorders. We're not disordered because we have a normal reaction to a life circumstance. So if you're having a normal life reaction you're not necessarily mentally ill, it just means that you're not mentally doing great right now. And there's a big difference, right? So wellness and mental health are all encompassing, they affect all of us, and a mental disorder is a more severe, ongoing issue that might require medical attention, it might require medication. And I think that we shouldn't devalue those diagnoses, just like we shouldn't devalue the fact that everyone experiences issues with mental well-being and mental health at various times in their lives. So I hope you have a good week. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. As usual, I am here to help. And don't forget to check out my website, youcounseling.com, as well as my social media. Thanks so much. Subscribe to our channel as well. It helps us get the word out there and get free mental health tips to you every week. Thanks so much.